All right guys, today we have an exciting video for you and your kids because I'm gonna show you our top snack from store-bought to Whole Foods that we love to feed Theo and we also eat ourselves because if Theo's snacking, I sure as hell am snacking. He often will like put something in his mouth and it's super gross and he'll spit it out on the ground. I just pick it up and put it in my mouth because the snacks we do buy him in store aren't super cheap and we're not made of money. Theo is 22 months, so he's two years old basically and he started eating when he was six and a half months. So a lot of the whole foods you can do right when they start eating. So you can do baby led weaning. So when your baby's ready to start eating, they'll grab at your fork, they'll watch you eat. They're very excited to get involved and you give them like chunks as opposed to like purees. Okay, so for this video, I think we're gonna go by age. So when Theo was six and a half months, when he first started eating, what was he actually eating? And this is mostly gonna be whole foods. The top two you'll see is banana and avocado. I think avocado is one of the first five foods we actually fed Theo. And then we got banana. Um, so Theo still loves banana, he still loves avocado till this day. But again, we like our bananas really ripe as you can see. These are just snacks, like he'll like have an avocado in the middle of the day or I'll have a banana when we're driving to daycare, when we're driving to swim. So these are just actually really good snacks. These next several snacks I just pulled out of the fridge. So first thing is cheese. We didn't give cheese to Theo very early on, but he loves cheese now. String cheese is a really good option for on the go. You can just give it to him in the wrapper even now and he like peels it himself or he just sometimes he just like sits on the counter while I'm making his breakfast and he'll just snack on some shredded cheddar. Good for if they're not drinking milk and you wanna get them some sort of calcium, cheese is a great option. I have a lot of friends and their kids don't drink milk at all. Got berries, which I think is something you can definitely start with pretty early on. And you just squeeze it like that and so it won't get lodged in their throat. Now Theo has teeth so he's capable of just like taking a handful and he'll just eat them. So he loves blueberries and he loves strawberries. So strawberries, you just wash, you chop up. Then this is actually something we buy in store. It's Petite Pot. It's a pudding that he loves, loves, loves so much. They have a couple different flavors. Vanilla is his favorite, but Matt, actually makes a homemade pudding that is just as good, if not better, and it only uses eggs, heavy cream, and a little bit of sweetener. So for the sweetener, we'll do some real maple syrup, just a little splash, and then a little bit of monk fruit. And then you just bake it, and um, you let it set, and then a little trick I do is we keep these jars, and we wash them, and then we put Matt's homemade pudding in this jar because he likes to eat out of these jars. So those are our little fridge snacks and then hard boiled eggs. So I used to just do a batch of 18 at a time when he was really young. The first food we ever let him taste was a soft boiled egg yolk. It was like soft medium. Um, and ever since then, he just loves hard boiled eggs. We'll top it with a little butter, a little cream cheese. Great for a quick snack on the go or a quick breakfast if you don't have time. And Theo's even been eating them like right before bed. He ha likes to have a snack while we're reading his books and hard boiled eggs have been his go-to. And so that is mainly the all the whole foods that he likes to consume. You know, he'll have, of course, steak, he'll have whatever we're eating. Now that he's almost two years old, he just literally eats everything. And we introduced a lot of flavors early on. So curry was one of the first flavors he tried so that he had like a taste for it. And if you build their palate, they're not gonna be picky. They're gonna enjoy what you feed them and they're gonna be more open to trying things and testing things out. So now we're gonna move on to our store-bought snacks, which we love to have because they're very, very convenient. This is where all of our snacks reside, mine and Matt's included, these bars right here. So he's been eating these probably, how long would you say, since he was like, like one? one? Yeah, so he had teeth at that point. They're very soft and they're made with almond flour. So Simple Mills has some really good um, ingredient products. Almond flour, um, organic peanut butter in this one, a little bit of honey, egg whites, coconut oil. We like to just make sure the oil that's used in the products is a good oil, so coconut oil, avocado oil. You know, it's not a lot of added sugar, there's not a ton of added fiber. This is high fat and has a little bit of protein. So these are one of his favorite on-the-go snacks. These, 
are tried and true by the entire family. He's been eating these since he's been one. He used to pound these. He doesn't so much anymore, but these are paleo puffs and they are made with cassava flour and coconut oil and they melt in his mouth. So we weren't scared to feed them to him when he was one. So next up is a company called Serenity Kids, which we love, love, love. His favorite, I would say all time snack right now, he's been loving is this pouch. It's the Roots pouch. So a great way to get veggies in if your kid doesn't love veggies. It is a puree, but it's super convenient and the ingredients are phenomenal. So. Everything's organic and then it uses olive oil in all of them. So they have meat ones as well, which is hard to come by. It's hard to come by meat pouches without a carb or a grain base. So these roots pouches are super good and they have squash, they have a lot of stuff. And then they have these cute little puffs now and this they have three different flavors, but just like little kid puffs. So I feel like these, as early as you would give your child puffs, I don't know when even that is, because we didn't give Theo puffs like this early. Oh, so they're made with bone broth, which I love. All of their products are. And then organic cassava root and olive oil. So great ingredients. Serenity Kids is one of our go-tos. We always have a lot of pouches and a lot of puffs on hand. These are great in the car. And then of course there's like meat sticks. Theo loves meat sticks. He's been liking this Applegate pepperoni lately, hanging out on the couch or something. He likes to go to the meats. So one of Theo's favorite snacks, and I swear it's because I ate a lot of popcorn when I was pregnant with him, but he loves popcorn. And we always get the Lesser Evil brand because they only use like ghee or avocado oil or coconut oil. They're they're really good with their ingredients. Same brand as the puffs. So we like to stick with brands that we really know that have good ingredients and they're quality products. Um, they even have like veggie sticks you can try if your kids want like veggie sticks. As of very late, I wanna say like the last month or so, he's been really into plantain chips. And as you can see, made with coconut oil, again, very essential. He likes the chips, but he mostly likes to dip. So guacamole, you can make it with your avocados or you can buy store-bought guacamole, hummus, really anything sour cream he can dip in. He loves using the plantain chip. This has been something we have on hand. And if he wants like a fun interactive snack, I'll just be like, do you want a dip? And he's all about dipping. So we pull out some dips and we give him some plantain chips and he just hangs out for a little. And then the last thing I'm gonna talk about quickly is nut butters and even some nuts. So lately, I would say like the past two weeks, so not long at all. Theo's been obsessed with cashews and it's one of his favorite go-to snacks. So I'll always like pull out a cashew and I like to split it. You know, I just give him the halves and then I can kind of keep more track of how many he's eating because he doesn't need a ton of cashews, you know? <laughs> like he's, he's so young and they're really tasty, but we don't do a ton of like nuts like this in general. So when we do them, I kind of do like keep an eye on how much he's eating and not let him go overboard. And then as far as nut butter goes, honestly, he's not really into them, but once in a while he will do like, cashew butter is probably his favorite of the peanut butter, almond butter, cashew butter arena. He would do cashew butter and I would make some homemade strawberry jam with like some chia seeds and a little bit of monk fruit. And he'll do like a little half a sandwich or something. And then as far as like the bread goes, you can definitely do keto breads. You can make them at home as well. That's a great route to go. He was doing this base culture bread for a while. So it's like paleo, really good ingredients, just like almond butter, um, eggs, a little bit of flax, things like that. But I noticed that the seeds were coming out like just whole in his poop. And so when you, you wanna keep an eye on things like that and just if they're not digesting properly, then maybe just omit it. So we stopped using the base culture bread and we just went with like this, This it's a whole wheat bread. It's not the best, but the ingredients are really good. Where are they? They're really simple. So it's just sprouted whole wheat berries, water, um, dates, salt, raisins. And so finding like a good quality bread, usually Whole Foods has a lot of great options in the frozen section. They even have like a really good sprouted sourdough bread that I ate with my last pregnancy when I was with pregnant with Theo. Um, that would be a great option. So if you are gonna go the bread route, just look for ingredients that you would be comfortable feeding your child and spread on a little nut butter. And that can be also like a really quick, easy, convenient snack. So that's really all his like main major go-to snacks that he's been eating since he's six months old. Up until now, I'm sure the snack realm 
will open up as he ages, as he goes to school. And as long as we teach him good nutrition, I think he'll make his best choices. That's all you can expect. Let me know down below what kind of snacks you feed your kids, what maybe we missed, what Theo should try, what we should try, and uh, we will let you know what we think. Thanks for watching.